Hello, hello, hello. When's the next show? Ah, uh, in an hour and a half. In an hour and a half. But until then, I'm going to waste time. <laughs> Appearing to be doing a show? Exactly. It'll, so it'll, it'll look like a show, but it's... Hour. Yeah. I'm going to be funny, and then people are going to go, hey, that was kind of entertaining. <laughs> kind of like an accidental show. <laughs> I'd like to stand again. <laughs> I'm just Googling. Oh my. You, you're, you're out of place. Something is going on. Yeah. Huh? Oh, not with the chip. Oh. Kid show! <laughs> <laughs> Never works. I don't know why. Kid show, come on over. Use the aisle. I made an aisle for you. There you go. I want you to fall off a hay bale. Although, if you tripped on these hay bales, you'd fall down and hit another hay bale. You're relatively safe. It's a hay bale for cons. <laughs> say for God's sake, and for some reason it's con's sake. I think it's con, and I realize wrath of con. Oh my God, I worship Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> <laughs> I do, actually. May he rest in peace. Yes. Yeah. That man had pecs. Oh, this fire. Oh, you <laughs> Start paying attention. Comedy show right this way over here on the full stage. Come on over. La 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 la. <laughs> la 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 la. Oh, and this fire. I'm wrapping it up around. Hello, darling. How are you? You can stand up. I don't care. Not blocking any of you yet for a show of the day. Always my smallest audience, but we will soon build you into a mighty. Mighty clan of laughter <laughs> and robust feeling. Some more people over here. Come on over. All are welcome, lovely ladies with hair garlandy things are welcome at the Brune Comedy Show. A lady with blue jeans on, welcome at the Brune Comedy Show. Girl in cute dress, little sister dressed like a ladybug. <laughs> Hello, ladybug. How are you? Hello. Yes. <laughs> You're a ladybug or you're a, you're a domino? <laughs> or a red domino? <laughs> in a Cuban coffee house. You're a, I know you're a ladybug. I'm Uncle Bruce, just being silly because you look like a domino. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just a Bond villain, it's also a game played in Cuban coffee houses. <laughs> your socks don't match. Oh my god, oh no, shoot, you're wearing those little rubber Crocs. Ah. It's a blue croc and a red croc. Yes, at home, she's a pair just like that, right? <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? Come on in, watch the show. I love, I love the look on this Eddie's face. Look at her. Back there. Just, she's not looking. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. She's at the program. Looking up at me, going, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I've never been to one of these events before. Am I supposed to go watch this guy, or what do I do? Is he, a, is he part of the fee to get in, or is he going to follow me home and do it in his... My, he, oh my god, he's talking if she just figured out. <laughs> oh god, he's talking about me. Oh my god. The farmers here are so, so willing to talk to us, so just I'm used to that. Hey, we're doing a show. Come on over. A man with a spade on his shirt. A giant playing card walking around. An assist is walking against the spade logo. You know that classic. Spade. <laughs> That's what it's from, you know, the spade, it's from diving and the clubs. She were clubs back in the day. <laughs> Art made into little cute little... <laughs> this guy goes on a bit, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Another guy just started whistling at us and started doing tricks very early. This guy just kind of yammers on for a bit. What he's known for. Hello, how are you? Funny seats on this side, I don't know why. Nobody wants to sit in this general area here. It's, it's built over an ancient Indian burial ground. It's adorable. <laughs> come on, come on over here. It's fun. You can get sucked into a television. Come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> You'll meet Joe Beth Williams on the way out. <laughs> Too obscure? All right. Nobody <laughs> got the Joe Beth Williams. Upper guy stuff. Come in. Yeah, sit down. It's a three-hour show. A three-hour show. <laughs> The weather started getting rough. Come on over there! Yuppie Stroller, come watch the show, Yuppie Stroller. Yes, pirate lady with Yuppie stro Jogging Stroller. That's a, that's a perfect stroller for this event, isn't it, man? Perfect off-road stroller. Have you ever jogged with it? 
Do you actually jog? No, no one does. No one really jogs with those things. I have one that you attach to a bike. Have I ever used it for that? Well, I did, but only once. My daughter weighs 100 pounds. She's three. She stands right about there. Yeah, because I'm very tall. My daughter is three. She's as tall as a five-year-old. And I've taken her to the playground and watching the other five-year-old's faces as they try to communicate with my three-year-old daughter. <laughs> <laughs> they think she's her, they just think she's a moron. Is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> she's three. Stanford, can I get you some help? Can you just pull that stroller in towards you a little bit there? Because I don't want to block the aisle. There we go. Leave the kids in the stroller, obviously. Stanford's like, I'm not getting these kids out of this. It's much easier. I'm just going to park them. I'm going to enjoy the show and I'll buy the kids ice cream later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pop. <laughs> Steer with the ears. Steer with the ears. <laughs> you want to win, kid? Get him going. Get him moving. There you go. I want to go to the pumpkin maze. <laughs> oh, I almost, look at that. I almost tied the wipes together. I would have had a double whip crack. That would have been awesome. I know it's good. All right. Steer with the ears. Grab the hair. <laughs> Anyway, little ladybug. What's your name, ladybug? You're three. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, when they're three, they have a hard time with that. See, kids can do this, kids can do this, they can do that, and they can do that. The three is hard, isn't it? Like, uh, how old are you? And they have to do the little folding of the It'd be cool if we as adults still did that. Rune, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a moron. <laughs> what is your name? What is your name? Cindy? Cindy, what's big sister's name? Caitlin? What? Gwen. Gwen and Cindy. Quinn! 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 Am I saying it right? Quinn! Quinn! Like the Eskimo! Well, that right? We all know that song. Quinn, Quinn the Eskimo. All right, Quinn. Quinn and Cindy. You're adorable, both of you. Quinn, why does a whip make this noise? Why does it go crack like that? You know, Quinn? I'm going to tell you. It's because it's going to call the sound barrier. <laughs> the sound barrier is an invisible barrier that surrounds all living things. It's comprised entirely of tiny invisible dwarves. <laughs> These tiny invisible dwarves stand upon each other's shoulders, making a giant wall of dwarf-like humanity, Quinn. When Uncle Brune throws the whip out there, the end of it travels 700 miles per hour, forcing two of those dwarves apart. There is then suction created, which rips them back together. They crack their skulls, Very making nice. that noise, and die instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn, whenever a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Whenever a bullwhip cracks, two tiny invisible dwarves are killed instantly. She's and look clapping. Lady. The show gets weirder from here. <laughs> I like your hat. It's very glistening. Yeah. You didn't buy that at a rent, so no, it's modern. You have a lot of glistening hats at home? No. Just the one? That's purple. Would you call that purple? Yeah, I call that purple. What's your name, love? Susan. Susan, nice to meet you. I'm Brood. Have we met before? Yeah.